So today we're installing these uh, easy parts. Um, um, this is the JDM center console extension. And then this is the JDM third brake light. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what you get when you open your third brake light box. It's just the light itself. Uh, the only difference between this one and the USTM one is that the JDM one has a uh, nine light bulbs across it <laughs> and the USTM one has only four light bulbs yeah so you pretty much unplug it and plug it back in um, I want to give thanks to speed kills 83 he his video is the one uh, that put me onto this part so thank you to him he's got a really good channel if you want a more detailed installation and comparison between the two lights just go ahead and watch his channel uh, his video i'm just gonna do it pretty quick so let's go ahead and get started Here we are in the trunk of the car uh that is the thing we want to unplug so all you have to do guys basically is just push on this tab right here just push that way and then it'll uh, release and then you can pull it out. Here we are inside of the car. This should just pull out easily. It feels loose already, so how do we do this? So you move it forward a little bit and then it releases and then you just pull it out. some plugs in here hold on all right guys so a little bit of a dilemma it looks like mine has some it should just come out from here out of the lamp and then go here and this is the plug but I don't know what all this stuff is um looks aftermarket almost does anyone know what that stuff is looks like splicing and um, add a fuse is, is you guys know if it's factory um because the jdm one only has like one plug that goes through it so I guess I'm not going to install it for now. But let me know if you guys know what that all that stuff is. And if I could just unplug it and replug the new one in. This is weird. Alright guys, so this was just supposed to be a easy plug and play. Um, Speed kills this video. He literally just unplugged it and plugged it in. I don't know what's going on with my STI. Maybe it's because it has the um, telematics. Um, but what I'm thinking is maybe I could just unplug that. And then just plug it into the old one. So I'm going to try that and hopefully it doesn't ruin anything. Let me, got, let me know what you guys think about that. Should I just unplug this part right here? and plug in the old ones because the current one it's not just the, there's something that's they cut this cable basically down the middle and there's stuff uh going through it all right guys so this is what you get with the uh center console extension there's the extra storage space this is like the main part And then you get this, uh, it's like a lid, I guess. Goes in the back. Get your instructions and then some hardware. Let's go inside the cart. So we gotta take this thing off, guys. I'm using this uh, pry tool. There it goes. 
That's what we took off. And there should be a screw. Uh, there's a screw right here. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. Sideways. That screw right there. Or... Here. That one. I'm going to pull it out. And there it is. And we... I think we pull this thing back. Yeah. And we don't need to take everything off, I think. We just need to be able to see these, um... There's three screws right there, if you can see them. So I'm gonna take those off. There's the third one. Yeah, guys, you just, um, I think you just pull it off. Yeah, there it goes. I have the extended version too. See? All right, so See, what we wanna do now, guys, is assemble uh, the piece that was on the car and then the new piece. So, uh, let's see, I think this should just snap in place or... Yeah. And then there's two holes that were on the new piece right here. Um, let's see if I can get closer. So we're gonna use the dome shaped screws on the ends. So right here and then right here. I know there's more holes in between, but we're gonna use the end holes um, with these uh, dome shaped screws, okay? Okay, so here we are, I got them in place. Oh, so this has to be open according to the instructions. There it goes. Is that in? sides so it should be flush uh, again it's that line that's that's what the snapping sound was right now um, there was a little gap and then I snapped it into place all right so this should close now and then there should be these uh, two holes we are going to use the remaining two uh, screws here we are Guys, I'm still also thinking about that um, third brake light. Like, what was going on with that? Um, it looked aftermarket almost, like out of fuses. I have a 2021 STI, and it's um, bought it brand new. It's stock. Um, for the most part, I mean except what's in my parts list, but I haven't messed with the rear lights or anything. So, I would really like to know what's going on back there. Um, let me know, guys. This is kind of weirding me out. All right, so there we are. I think the last part is just to place it back where it goes. We back okay so we're gonna place this back so there are these tabs these little tabs i'll get you guys closer right now if we can't see um that line up the uh there we go right there there's um right there there's a piece and then right there there's a piece that helped to um align the the um, this bracket and then we're gonna use the original three screws to screw it back in. Because the 
main reason why I started making videos was because I couldn't find videos that showed how to install the parts that I wanted to install. So I took it upon myself to uh, hopefully um, contribute, I guess, to people that want to install these parts. So there's that, guys. Um, let me see if it works real quick. Yep. Yep, and it's part two. It's kind of shaky. I don't know if I can... I mean, I'm going to tighten it down, see if I can tighten it more, and then I'll be back, guys. So that shakiness is actually coming all the way from the base, guys. So, anyways, I'm going to tighten everything down. The last thing, actually not everything, the last thing is this uh, first screw that we took off. It's going to go back. There it goes. Yep, it's going in. All right, that is screwed in. And the last thing is to put that little cover piece back on. Does it go this way? Yeah. There it goes. So here it is, guys. As you can see, my original extension still works. Um, there's a lot of space here between the, uh, for the cup holder area. Um, got some extra space right there, and then uh, there's the original one. So yeah, pretty cool. Never noticed how shaky this whole console was, but it's all good. Bonus install, guys. So uh, I'm gonna put this little uh, STI. Uh, fuel cap sticker on the fuel cap there is the part number so I'm gonna clean the fuel cap uh, sticky area with some isopropyl alcohol and then I'll stick this on this is the cap guys I uh, just cleaned it with um, this microfiber and then uh, some of this looks pretty clean I'm gonna open this up and uh, get it installed. So here's the top part, guys. I actually took the fuel cap off and then I just rested um, the sticker along the uh, top right there along, uh, I can't, uh, this part right here, just rested it right here, guys. And then I just uh, leaned it back and then I just pushed with my thumbs. So now I'm gonna do the bottom part. Here it is installed, guys. Um, it looks a lot better than before. Um, also, guys, as I'm thinking more about the wiring in the reverse uh, light, um, I'm thinking it was uh, um, an aftermarket alarm that the dealer installed because when I first got the car, there was like a little light underneath the dash the car's dirty by the way just ignore it um and i went back to the dealer and i had them remove it and there was also like a little box that it was connected to underneath the dash so i actually called subaru of america because the dealer wasn't responding to me and i had them contact the dealer and that's how i got them to remove it because you know i don't want that stuff on my car so they removed it uh, they re removed the little button and the little box but uh, now that I think about it that alarm probably had to be hooked up to the lights um, of the car so that's probably what that is um, so that in case the alarm went off it would flash the lights. so I'm thinking it was an aftermarket alarm so I hate when dealers do that, guys. They put stuff on the car that they're not supposed to put on. And um, this is my second car I've ever bought in my life. Um, my first car, I had it for 15 years. So I didn't know 
to tell them, hey, don't drill into the bumper. Hey, don't put an alarm in the car. Um, so that was my ignorance, but hopefully I can get that removed. If not, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, I can just unplug um, that part of the old light and plug in the new one without with the old wire. So hope it helped, guys. See you guys later. Bye.